Hey guys, welcome back into another week in outfits. It has been so long since I've filmed one of these. Um, I hope that you've been enjoying the four ways to style videos that I've been doing instead though. I love being able to showcase how versatile those simple or classic wardrobe pieces can really be and even non-classic items as well. So if you do have any particular requests you would like to see for that series, leave them down in the comment section below. Today is Monday and I have just finished filming Sunday's video, which will already be live. It's my 30 for 30 capsule wardrobe recap. I'm gonna leave it linked up here if you haven't watched it and you would like to do so after this one. Um, yeah, our son is napping and I'm sure he will be waking up very soon, just having a look at my phone to see if he's wriggling about. Uh, so he'll be getting up very soon and we'll just be getting into our day. But yeah, I thought I'd just make the most of that quiet time, especially as my husband's in the office today. Um, it is, kind of overcast, a bit windy, cloudy. Uh, it has been raining a lot recently, but today just seems like there's a bit of a cool change. I actually got up first thing this morning and I went for a 40 minute, you know, 7K run. And it just felt like such a great way to start the day. Uh, and I feel like I've already made the most out of my morning. So yeah, feeling really good about that. Um, jewelry, I am wearing a little bit just cause I was filming. So I have on my Laura Lombardi hoop earrings, which unfortunately aren't available anymore, but she's done a very similar one for this current season. Necklaces, uh, we've got my, Missima, I think this is, oh, I can't remember what it's called, but Missima necklace, this one's from Mirror Jewelry, and then I do have on an Ana Luisa bracelet, I absolutely love this one. Okay, and outfit details, I am wearing a grey t-shirt, this one is from Cezanne, it is their Conrad t-shirt, really comfortable, made from organic cotton, um, I do think it's expensive for what it is, but the seams haven't twisted, uh, it just has a really nice relaxed fit. Um, one I feel very comfortable in and I reach for a lot. Over the top, I am wearing this super long coat again. This is from Alessandra Cashmere and it is a mohair coat again. It's in the prettiest sage green color, which I really hope it's going to show off properly on camera. Otherwise, maybe I can insert a photo. But yeah, I love how nice and cozy this is. Super long sleeves, nice big pockets. Um, I think it comes in a couple of other colors as well. Let me just show you some close up so you can sort of see the fabric a bit better. Um, then the skirt that I'm wearing is my old J. Crew white denim skirt, which is still going strong, still love this thing. And then my shoes are my Everlane 40 hour flats. Um, I think I've mentioned this before, if you get these, you need to go up half a size from your usual Everlane size, but they're so comfortable and just feel very chic. And then I actually need to fill this bag for the day, but the one that I'm gonna be using is my Celine Trio in the gray. I just really adore this bag. It's such an easy one to kind of reach for. The pouches are very convenient. Uh, and I mean, even though I parted ways with one many years ago, uh, I think the fact that I got this for such a good price has just made me appreciate it. Um, a lot more and be a lot less precious with it. I haven't had any problems with this one actually, so I've been very lucky. So yeah, there you go, full outfit of the day. I'll see you guys tomorrow with my next look of the week. Hey guys, it is Tuesday today, and as you can see, I'm having a bit of a makeup free morning or probably makeup free day. I am absolutely exhausted. I also woke up quite a few times last night and was very difficult to put to bed. Um, he's kind of going through separation anxiety for a second time, but this time with his dad and just a few other developmental changes and his top teeth are coming through. So there's a lot going on. I'm going to be taking it easy though, because yeah, I am very tired. So I've just kind of thrown on an outfit because um, I'm feeling quite cold, even though it looks nice and sunny outside. Uh, I've gone for long sleeves and trousers. So I'll flip the camera around and show you what I'm wearing today. Okay, so first thing I've opted for is this long sleeve sweater from Cezanne. This is the Leontine, Leontine jumper, which I believe that this cotton version is sold out. However, they've released it for autumn winter in a knitted fabric. So I'll leave that one down below, but I have done a review on it. I really love this style and the blues on sleeves. Uh, just think it's really pretty and it kind of Henley detail down the front. I personally like the way it looks with half of the buttons undone. I just think it's a little bit more interesting than having it buttoned all the way up. The trousers that I'm wearing are a newer addition to my wardrobe. They're just from H&M actually. They're a really lovely linen rayon mix. Um, I have this really pretty olive color, which I'm finding myself very drawn to for the spring summer period. Um, I just think they're a really nice transitional trouser, very nice weight, 
very easy to kind of throw on because they just have the elasticated waistband and they do have that tapered fit at the ankle. Then the shoes that I'm wearing today are just my Jane Dempster slides as these were what I had in the bedroom and they're just very easy to throw on. So yeah, that is kind of a look at my full outfit today. It actually sounds like my husband's just jumped on a conference call. So I'm going to wrap this up. I'll see you guys tomorrow with my next outfit of the week. Hello guys and happy Wednesday. I have to say I'm feeling so much better than I was yesterday. I was just so lethargic and exhausted and not really up for much. I couldn't really think. And then today I'm just feeling so much better. So incredible what a good night's sleep can do for you. It's actually the US election. So I'm going to have that running on in the background all day, I think. It's a really beautiful day. It's 24 degrees. So really nice weather. Uh, and in the afternoon, I'm going to be meeting up with my mother's group. So that's kind of what's on the agenda today. Accessories wise, I actually have some jewelry on for fun. So I've got these really beautiful earrings, which I've had for a few years now. They are from Holly J's uh, Etsy store. They have this gold section here and a really pretty little hoop. The necklace that I'm wearing today, which hopefully you can see, is my Zodiac necklace from Majuri. I haven't worn this in a while and I pulled it out just because I really do love it. And then I also have on my Ana Luisa, I kind of call this like a rope bracelet. And then like usual, I've gone pretty monochromatic with my outfit. So the t-shirt that I'm wearing is from Everlane. I've had this one for... A good couple of years now I would say. I think it's an air tee. I've just very casually rolled the sleeves up. I wear this in an extra small. I have also gotten it in a small and I can say that it just fit too large. So definitely size down one with this because it is a very very oversized fit. The bag that I'm using today is my Linnea crossbody purse which I adore and I just think it is so elegant and ladylike. The skirt, look, it's such a contrast, right? <laughs> the skirt that I have on today, this one is from Halogen and I really love the polka dot detail on it. And then my shoes, these are such an incredible dupe for the Chanel sandals. These are from Tony Bianco and they're not, such a nice soft leather. They're so comfortable. They also have that quilted detail on them as well. Uh, they just look very, very expensive, much more so than they were. So let's see. Oh, I can hear my little voice just woken up. So I'm going to have to wrap this up very quickly. But yeah, there you have it. That is a look at the full outfit today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, so it is Thursday today and it is just after lunch. It's been the coldest, most miserable day today. Raining, super windy outside. I actually had to wear a coat, which is surprising considering I barely even needed to wear one during winter. Uh, this morning I went to a press preview, took my son with me, which was really sweet. Um, he loves getting to meet new people. So that was really lovely. I uh, just bought some beauty brands ahead of Christmas. Um, and this afternoon right now, um, well, I've got the election coverage on at the moment. It's sort of coming up to the end of the presidential race. So hopefully we'll know who will win soon. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, outfit wise, what am I wearing? Um, no jewelry. Let me flip the camera around. You have to mind my baby hairs. They are so unruly and out of control. Probably one of the things about postpartum that I never knew about. <laughs> um, outfit reminds me a lot of the kind of thing I would wear when I was living in Wellington. The all black uniform was a bit of a staple because it was always cold. I was pretty much always wearing tights. Um, the sweater is a men's sweater uh, that I bought last year, about a year ago actually. Um, it's in a size medium. The brand is called Staple Superior and it's just super oversized cotton knit. I wanted something that I could throw on that would be really easy and I sort of envisioned myself wearing this a lot um, after I gave birth just because it is, you know, so lightweight and I had no idea what my body was going to look like essentially. So that was kind of why I got this and I really like on it the wider neckline because it is a menswear style so it's a bit larger from that perspective. Um, but yeah, it's pretty big and I've just done a French tuck so I just tucked it in the front. The jeans that I'm wearing are my favorite Dr. Denim skinny jeans. Um, they are still a little bit snug on me. I mean, they do create a bit of a uh, lines on my stomach, but they fit and I'm going to take that as a win. So I'm getting my wear out of them. Uh, the boots that I'm wearing are my, these are the Everlane Re-Knit Boss Boots. These are divine. I love them. I think I like them better than the original boss boot because they actually come, I don't know if you can see here, but they come a little bit higher up the leg and they have this very cool little leather panel at the back and being made from the Renit fabric, they are so gosh darn comfortable. I got my usual size, US nine and a half. 
and they are a f perfect fit on me. Um, not the most practical shoe for wearing when it is raining, I will admit, but um, comfortable nonetheless, and I really just wanted a very comfy shoe. Uh, let me pop on my coat and bag. The coat that I was wearing today is just this cocoon style collarless coat from Cos. I think if you live in the Northern Hemisphere and are looking for great outerwear, Cos is definitely a good place to go. Um, I think the, you know, those companies within the H&M family, uh, the ones that do offer a more premium price point are really good value for money uh, and they wear really well too. This is actually my second coat from the brand. I used to have a navy uh, kind of, it was almost a shearling, but it wasn't, um, one which I loved. Maybe put a photo on screen of that. Uh, then the bag that I went for today was just my Celine Trio. I kind of felt like the light gray bag added a bit of a pop of color considering that I have gone uh, for quite a dark color palette. So yeah, that is my outfit of the day today. I will see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, and happy Friday. It's finally the end of the week. Um, actually, you know, it's, it's interesting. I woke up this morning and it was super gloomy and now the sun has come out. I feel like my mood is reflected by the weather. Feeling really good about this. <laughs> I have just spent kind of the past hour or so trying to get my son down for his morning nap. Uh, it's been quite challenging because all he wants to do is stand and has caught if you're a mum, if you've gone through this then you will know what I mean so I'm looking forward to the sleep progression passing that's for sure um, I am gonna do some work while he's sleeping but also when he wakes up we're gonna go to the supermarket to pick up some snacks because why not the weekend ahead um, uh, I do have some accessories on today for a change I just felt like putting on some jewelry so the earrings that I'm wearing are from Ana Luisa. They're these really lovely little huggy hoops. You will have seen them in one of my previous videos, the straight leg jean styling one. I love these. I just think they are simple, classic. Um, they have a Black Friday sale on at the moment, so I will leave that linked down below. And then I have some really, really pretty rings on from Linya. Okay, so first ring that I've got on here is the Ilse ring. I think that's how you pronounce it. And this is probably my favorite. I just think it is so stunning and yeah. And I also have on this other hand, this really beautiful little stack too, which I'm loving. The center ring is the Martine ring, which I think is one of the new ones. Um, please mind the fact that I sliced my finger this morning. Yeah, so those are really pretty. Um, and actually I do have 10% off for Linya off their jewelry. So I will leave that discount code in the description box below in case you want to go and and check anything out if you've had your eye on anything. Now I'll show you my outfit. I was having one of those days today where everything I put on just felt wrong. Um, the silhouette just didn't feel right. The shapes, the colors, I just couldn't figure out my outfit. And I'm sure I'm not alone in this. I don't know if it's just, you know, I feel like I need to get dressed really quickly because my time is so limited these days. Um, I had a lot more time to kind of plan them out and, and think about what I was wearing before I had a baby, that's for sure. Anyway, um, basically I think the reason why was because I wanted to center my entire outfit around these trousers, which are the dream pant from Everlane. Just a really comfy trouser. Almost feels like wearing joggers or sweatpants, but I think the silhouette of them just looks a little bit more put together. And you could potentially wear these to the office as well, just depending on how you style them. But they are sort of a jersey material. They just have this, um, it's almost like a manufactured pleat, right? Because it's stitched down the center. Uh, but yeah, if you wore it with a blazer and a silk blouse or something, I think easily could work for, for the office. Um, I have them in a size small, by the way. Uh, they remind me a lot of my Acne Studios trouser, just much more comfortable. And I think the shape of them is a little bit more flattering too. Anyway, wanted to wear these. Everything I put with it just didn't look right. Wrong color, um, just wrong silhouette, like too big on top, or the shoes just didn't end up working with the outfit. Finally came to a conclusion with this look, which I think works. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Um, the tank that I'm wearing underneath my cardigan is my Eveline Micro Rib Pima Cotton Tank which I talk about a lot. It's an excellent layering piece and I have it in three colors. They wash so well. Um, one of my favorite staples from the brand. Then the cardigan that I'm wearing is one that I bought um, either at the start of the year or late last year. I can't quite remember. Um, it was when I was pregnant and it's from Uniqlo. It's just a ribbed, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see up close, ribbed cardigan. Really nice and easy. And then on my feet, I have gone for my Vanelli two-tone pumps in the black on black. And I'm wearing today is my Celine Trio because I'm not in the mood to change it. I don't know, it's just easy, effortless. 
it carries all of my essentials really nicely. So yeah, that is a look at my final outfit of the week. God, my baby hairs are all over the show right now. And I can't wait till these finish growing out. <laughs> anyway, that is it from me today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, I feel like I said earlier, my outfits are kind of all over the place this week. I was feeling tired. Um, I'm still sort of working out my spring style and I don't really 100% feel myself in what I've been wearing recently. Um, I'm sure I'm not alone in this if you're a new mum or maybe you're just on your own journey to finding your personal style. So I'm definitely going to talk about this a little bit more in my week in outfits video. Uh, because I feel like it's kind of nice to share the struggles that we have on this journey. I would like to know in the comments below if you did have a favorite outfit um, and I think mine was probably what I wore yesterday. I felt just very chic and put together in that all black look. Um, but yeah, I hope you are having an amazing week and you're staying safe, you're looking after yourself and you're feeling good and I will see you next time with a brand new video. See you soon. Bye! Bye.